evening, and welcome to Winter Wonderland in the magical land of Narnia. I'm David Bustle. And I'm Kelly and Al. And we'll be your hosts for this evening. But before we officially get started with our program, I'd like to invite our fine arts director, Mr. Jose Vaz, to the stage. Tonight, it is my privilege to introduce you uh, our interim pastor in South Lake Presbyterian Church, Pastor Chris Baker, please, who is going to lead us in prayer.
in addition to the obvious setting in the magical land of Narnia and C.S. Lewis's The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, the real setting takes place in World War II England. The world was embattled in the worst conflict in human history, and almost half a million Americans lost their lives serving our country. Currently, over 1.3 million Americans sacrificed the time of their families to serve our country in the military. And in addition, there are almost 20 million U.S. military veterans. As we celebrate the holidays, there are millions who will not have the opportunity to spend time with their loved ones as they serve this country all across the globe. We wanted to take a few moments tonight to honor these great service people and their families. The next song will salute each branch of the military, Army, Navy, Coast Guard, and Marines. If you are a veteran or a family member of a veteran, or if you have a family member currently serving in the military or one of these branches, please stand when you hear their song. We would like to recognize the sacrifice that you and your families have made and continue to make, especially during the holidays. Here is the showcase choir with our salute to the armed forces.
that I always wanted to be a drummer? Not now. Why not? Did you not hear them? Did you see how good they were? I mean, I could be that good. I mean, I got that whole rhythm thing down already, but I just need a little more practice. Maybe for Christmas, you could give me a drum set.
Narnia, it's only appropriate that our next performance is about snow, painting a magical picture of the setting. Up next to perform is the singing group, Bella Vos. What? Bella Vos. You know, singing group, Bella Vos. You've heard of them. Oh, my sweet boy. Really? Where is your sense of culture? Your Italian flair. Have you ever heard of Bella Vita, the beautiful life? Or oh, I know you've heard of Bella Notte, like in The Lady and the Tramp, where they're sharing a plate of spaghetti, and then they kiss. That's a Bella Notte. You have a point with any of this? The singing group. Bella Voce, as in beautiful voices. Oh, last year I heard they were just called Lady Seablog Ensemble. <laughs> yeah, how boring is that? We all expected so much more from Miss Goodman. I mean, have you seen her shoe collection? That is a fair point, yes. Bella Voce is much better. So, joined by Mr. Bass and his son Joshua to paint an ethereal setting of the snow are the beautiful voices of Bella Voce.
Let me just tell you, she's not the only very talented member of her family. That's right, Kelly. Mrs. Parsons' husband, Patrick, is the artisan responsible for building our entire Narnia set, including the library, the wardrobe, the fireplace. Pretty much all of these elements have transported us into Narnia. You can find out more by following Patrick Parson Workshop on Facebook or subscribing to their YouTube channel, where Patrick and his partner, Jimmy, share do-it-yourself project videos, tips and tricks, and reviews for making woodworkers and DIY enthusiasts. And now, let's please give a round of applause to say thank you for all the time, energy, and materials Patrick Parson donated in making our Narnia vision come true.
I love the Nutcrackers. The dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy and the March of the Toy Soldiers. I don't think people realize how much the sounds of this classic work by Tchaikovsky are a part of the Christmas soundtrack. Yes, Kelly, and our workshop did a great job. And while we are enjoying some wonderful performances this evening, I want to take a moment to talk about the Visual Arts Department and some of the pieces that are on display. That's right, David. Our Visual Arts Department is continuing to grow, and we have some really talented artists. We really do. And this year, our Visual Arts Department is partnering with the Memory Project, an organization founded by Ben Schumann. This art initiative program was started by our very own senior, the beautiful Kayla Metzger, and part, as part of her personal ministry. This project also supports international underprivileged children, and this year are supporting children at an orphanage in Madagascar. Selected visual art students created portraits of these sweet children, and you can view these portraits in the lobby this evening. In addition to this project, Kayla is producing over 32 pro uh, portraits for orphan children at the orphanage in Kusi, Peru, as a personal gift when those of us who are seniors visit the orphanage on their trip this spring. Please, let's give a round of applause for these visual art students and Kayla Metzger as we recognize the beautiful way
to realize the great war that we've been drawing. I've forgotten about the prophecy. I don't care about the war. I should kill you. I don't you. care about the prophecy. We can't go home.
through sponsorship at many levels, as you can see in the program. If you are interested in these spe special sponsorships, please contact our Fine Arts Director, Jose Bass, to find out the benefits to each level of sponsorship. And tickets will go on sale soon, and you want to get yours before they sell out, as there will be a limited number available for this contemporary black tie event. And now, for our final drama scene from our Upper School Drama Club, directed by Mrs. Abby Carney. Let's give them a huge round of applause for their performances this evening. We hope you've enjoyed the sampling of scenes from the musical The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by Yuri and Kuchmi, and based on C.S. Lewis's novel, which is a beautiful allegory that presents the redemptive work of Christ. And though sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the busyness and activity of Christmas, with the decorations and the parties and the gifts, Tonight, we take a moment to remember that Christ's birth is the reason that we celebrate Christmas. Because on that night long ago, an angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds who were tending their flocks of sheep by night. And the angel announced that our Savior had been born in Bethlehem. Suddenly, a great host of heavenly beings appeared with the angels and began singing praises to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill to men. Take time this season to celebrate the gift that God gave to us in His Son's birth. And now, our final scene from our high school drama club, Aslan Lives.
the dinner, you may take it to the check-in table at the lamppost of the lobby. If you are not a dinner guest, you may still stop by the table at the lamppost where you may purchase poinsettias or Christmas trees. And now we invite you to join the middle and high school con concert choirs, concert band, and orchestra as we close this enchanting evening with a beautiful medley of well-known carols. Please feel free to sing along as we worship together. 